probably none of us will have a job. Not you, not me. This message is getting louder by the day. In just the last seven days, four of the top minds in AI have sounded fresh warnings of a jobless future. These aren't random voices. They are people building, researching, and shaping AI itself. Now they're warning us about where AI is headed. Elon Musk has been saying it all along. And now Jeffrey Hinton, Dario Emodai, and Roman Yampoliski have joined in with their own dire predictions. These are not throwaway comments. These are signals meant to prepare us. They are pointing to a grim reality of AI and the future of work. Let's start with Elon Musk. Probably none of us will have jobs. He said this last year, May 2024. He pointed a future where AI and robots will do everything. And humans will live off what he called a universal high income. Work, he said, will become just a hobby, optional, like painting or gardening. And then he asked the deeper question, if AI can do everything better than you, does your life even have meaning? Now comes in Dario Amodia. Entry-level work is something AI is already very good at and quickly getting better now. AI will wipe out almost 50% entry-level jobs in five years, spike unemployment to 20%, says Dario Amade, the co-founder and CEO of Anthropic. And AI could wipe out half of all entry-level white-collar jobs in the next one to five years. He said this in the beginning of September. Dario's warning matters because he isn't just an observer. He is the CEO of Anthropic, the company behind Claude, the second largest private AI company in the world, only behind OpenAI. Claude's breakout use case is coding. It's already used in tools like Cursor and GitHub, and we are already seeing how quickly developers are adopting it for workflows, debugging, and automation. But it's not just about coders. Dario points directly at law, at finance, at consulting, and even tech. Why? Because AI can now write, analyze, and strategize faster and even better than junior staff. In his words, AI is better than most entry-level professionals. This is coming faster than most people think. He warns that unemployment could spike up to 20%, levels not seen since the Great Depression. And the jobs that remain, they'll demand skills most people haven't still started learning. He followed up with a blunt call to action. He said, stop sugarcoating what's coming. And we, as the producers of this technology, have a duty and an obligation to be honest about what's coming. Now we've got Jeffrey Hinton. What does he say? What's actually going to happen is rich people are going to use AI to replace workers. It's going to create massive unemployment and a huge rise in profits. Jobs will go and they will go soon. Who is Hinton? Hinton is one of the godfathers of AI. He left Google in 2023 so that he could freely speak about the dangers of AI. For him, the real threat isn't AI itself, it's capitalism. He warns that companies will use AI not to help workers, but to replace them. Entry-level jobs are the first to go and retraining, it just cannot keep up. Until the grim reality is stark, a world of mass unemployment, rising inequality, and machines that don't just replace our work, they manipulate our choices. Then came in Roman Yampoliski. He, speaking on the Diary of a CEO podcast, said, You have free labor, physical and cognitive, trillions of dollars of it. It makes no sense to hire humans for most jobs. By 2030, 99% of all jobs will disappear. He's a computer science professor and an AI safety expert. He believes that once artificial general intelligence arrives, likely by 2027, the labor market will collapse just three years later. Why? 
because AGI won't just assist humans, it is going to outperform them. He explains it even more bluntly. All jobs will be automated. There is no plan B. Four of the most powerful voices in AI, Elon, Dario, Jeffrey, and Roman, are all pointing to the same outcome. Some say it's years away. Others say it's already here, maybe as early as next year. Some say we can't even predict. But together, their warnings converge to one truth. The age of AI may also be the end of jobs as we know them today. So the real question is not whether AI can replace us, it's whether we are ready for the world that comes after. A thing that I like to remind people in our company of is no one knows what happens next. You know, there's a lot of these like really smart sounding predictions. People make all kinds of like, oh, this is going to happen and this and the economy will go here. We have no idea. No one has that, in my opinion.